Right, I'm doing this as video three. It's not long after I did the last one. There's a big concrete pipe there, look, draining water. This is a junction point, right? So I've just come up there, passing Dolborough Warren. This is a junction point where last time I was here, I walked, I turned down that way. Walked down there. I didn't go literally that way, but I went, I was going in that direction. There's a track going past the pink house down to the main stream that's down there. Look, there's the, the track I followed down through there. Okay. So what I'm doing today, and this is where I would have come out, if, if a week or so ago on the West Mendip Walk from Winscombe, I would have come out here if I'd done the stream route, but I went straight up through the woods. But I would have come out here. And now what we do now, we bear round and follow this track. Now this is still at the base of the hill fort. <sighs> still at the base of the hill fort. And... I've got to try and move the camera slowly. I do too, I sweep too quickly. It, is, it will be bumpy as well. Apologies. And then we follow this lower track. Now, all the way until we get to another point where we follow another track and then another track. So this is, this is it. So you can branch off down there by that shed. Or you can go back down that way. That's the way down there to climb up the fort. There's also a, the, the longer way up which I've done before. Now, I haven't done this particular route. Oh, I don't know, I probably did it last year. I, you know, I do these, I'm over here a lot. But here we've got a quite a nice wide track, which we can follow. And all the time on your left is up there, is the way up to the hill fort. Whether you can get up through there, I don't know. There might be fencing, there could be anything. They often put fencing in to stop the erosion. If I can see a bit of a fence. <sighs> Looks like it's one big anthill, doesn't it? That is a way up. For the brave. And look at that lush greenery. Look. Isn't it lovely, everyone? So, I'm, so basically, this is an extension of last week's um, Winscombe, Shippen, Rowborough, Cheddar Walk. This is an extension, except this time I've come via Church, Sand, Sanford, Churchill, Dolbury, Warren. I'm going to cross the area of Outstanding Beauty. This is Rowborough, Warren, all this woods here. All these woods, absolutely magnificent trees and woods. This is the... I mean, basically, some people just park up down there and just do this walk and then go and climb up the fort and round, you know. You don't have to do what I do, get buses. Uh, I mean, I sometimes bring Dolbert's cheddar. You have to if you want to do any evening stuff. Or if you really know you want to do an even longer walk. And you have I have to bring my own vehicle because because of the buses. And this will take me all day. At a nice steady pace. You get some people out and they're marching. And I like to look and study everything take pictures. Now I wasn't always like this by the way. I used to be a run a runner jogger. I used to do long distance running. Um, and I couldn't understand people wanting to walk. And that was when I was younger. Um, I've also done a lot of cycling. And I, I would have also done fast walk like much quicker walking. I wouldn't have strolled. I couldn't have I would have had no patience for walking like this. So I have to remember that there are people still like that. They don't all want to stroll. I just find the trees fascinating, all the different types of trees we get. Like over that side, you've got these big tall ferns and other trees. And you've got more spindly ones over that side, which I can't remember the name of. 
but you can hear the woodman. You can hear the woodman. And once, of course, this was an old wall. This, the history is massive in here. This is probably a well used route that I'm on now. This is probably an old, a very old route. Like a main road, you know, like you get the A38, this would have been like a main road in those days. Linking different villages where the sheep and cattle would have come. And all that. It is truly magnificent, isn't it? Right, so I've got quite a bit of this walk along here. I won't uh, uh, video the whole lot, otherwise I won't have any memory left for other sections. So I, I like to do... I mean, I had somebody say the other day that I should add music. It would make my videos better. They were missing the point, really, aren't they? You don't have to have music to everything. That, that, it, this isn't that sort of video. This is a visual diary. <sighs> if I wanted music on there, I'd have, I would have, um, David Bowie playing. <sighs> Everyone says hi. Everyone says hi, hi, hi. They said you went on a big trip. They said you sailed away. Didn't have the words to say. I should have had a letter saying what is what. Ain't the weather good? Not too hot. For you, everyone says hi. Everyone says hi. Don't stay in a bad place if they don't care how you are. Everyone says hi. Everyone says hi, hi, hi. Everyone says hi. And your mom and dad And the boy upstairs And the girl downstairs And your big fat dog Everyone says hi Everyone says hi, hi, hi Right, that's for someone who wants a bit of music it's a bit of David Bowie, my hero, love the Bowie. I love him for um, that he represents my generation and lots of generations, but my life in many ways. He, he had lots of things that were similar to what I happened to my parents. My dad was in the 8th Army and fought in Africa, so did um, Bowie's, though his dad wasn't in the Royal Engineers. I think he might have been in the Fusiliers. Um, they fought in Africa. Both our mums worked in bomb factories and uh, they lived in London. So I got... And of course all the things like television coming into being... You know, um, listening to them with mother on the radio, listening to Radio Luxembourg, the emergence of the Stones and the Beatles. Um, God, you know, there's just so much that he touched upon. So many things did our Bowie. Right now, we've just got to stop there and get back to the wood. Here we got the Robero Warren, which is where I am. With lots of different ways. Obviously, there's someone's made a gap through there. The fort being up the top there, the Iron Age fort. And there's another way, if you wanted to, you could go into the Robera Warren. But I'm not doing that today because I've done that the other day. I'm carrying on this lower track.
and I've done a bit of singing for those that like music. Well, like I said, this is a visual diary, and it's about some of my walks. I don't put everything, and I edit some stuff out um, for confidentiality, for all sorts of reasons. Um, I'm, it's therapeutic for me, um, coming in, out on my walks. I find it very, very relaxing. I don't necessarily want music with me. I know you can add it afterwards. Now, obviously I give creative commons to my stuff. If somebody wants to do it, that's up to them. But the original, which is my stuff, is just me rambling on. I mean, someone described me as a dope, which I thought was a bit insulting. There's no need for that. And I've actually removed their comment. I mean, you've got to be put up with, criti with constructive criticism. I know experts in camera work will be cringing at my work. But I'm not the BBC. I haven't got a big flash camera. This is just an ordinary woman out doing her videos. And I, if I want to share them, I can. If you don't want to watch them, you don't have to. That's what I think. It's freedom of expression sort of thing and if I want to censor somebody on my site I can it's still freedom I mean they can come back I haven't banned them completely but there's no need like I said constructive criticism is always good but why criticise when it's just a subjective experience I'm giving this is a lived experience it's not going to be perfect you know it's going to be how it is and it's a lovely summer's day, and I'm enjoying this. Right then, I'm now entering a narrower path. Still going around the fort, and eventually coming up to a wider path again in a minute. With the road barrow Warren over there, I'm heading for the area of outstanding beauty over and out.